Hey everyone, let's talk free tools and resources. I've got a couple of great tools to show you. I was going to record this in Loom, which is a free video tool, but it turns out I can't do that. So I'm actually in Zoom right now. Um, I created a meeting. I am just recording it individually. So I didn't invite others to the meeting. And that way I could still record this for you guys and uh, get you some tools and resources. So let me share my screen and let's get started. All right, the first tool I want to show you is job scan. You get five free scans per month. I am not a fan of gaming the system. You know how I feel about integrity. We've already talked about that. So I'm gonna stick with either five free scans or pay the fee to upgrade. I, I personally don't use this tool a whole lot just because it is a little bit more sensitive. Okay, a lot more sensitive than the ATS and it can be frustrating for job seekers. Do you wanna show you how you can use this tool to really tailor your resume, but I don't want you to get so hung up on the score. This is actually a really high score for the ATS. It's going to tell you what skills are missing. So it's telling you we're missing two high, and high value skills, and I do wanna focus on those. So it's missing customer experience, which we may have called it client experience. So if that's the case, then we would go back and change it to customer instead of client. Also, it's missing iPhone, okay? So that could be relevant or maybe not, but because it's talking about mobile, we may wanna go back in and where we've said mobile eight times, we might want to in parentheses say Android and iPhone and really get a little bit more granular because the job description's granular. Also, uh, where it has like operational analysis and then user-friendly, again, this is where it gets super, super kind of picky and nitpicky, and we don't want to go through that. We had forecasted, and it doesn't pick it up because it's looking for forecast. And so I don't want you guys to get so hung up on those little things that you completely spend hours redoing your resume, um, adding things like Kindle or Kindle Fire when it may be so specific. And so stick with mobile, mobile platforms, and we can really kind of use this as, oh, I should have mentioned that. I do have experience with Kindle Fire, so I'll add that. Or um, I didn't use the word design enough. Or, you know, we can really navigate through that and use this as a good kind of measuring stick to see, are we putting in the words that they are looking for? Could I add innovative? Is that true to my brand and who I am? Can I say I'm passionate with integrity? Do I have good attention to detailers? That may be not my strong suit. So if I look at how I can add in these soft skills as well as technical skills, this is a good, good kind of guidepost. But at the same time, I don't want you hung up on little things like conjugation or um, changing all of the wording in your resume. I don't want you to focus on that. But I do wanna show you this tool. It is out here available for you. My favorite, I think, is resume worded. And this is one I'm pretty new to, but I've copied and pasted my resume as well as the resume writer job description. Great news, I'm a 98. And so what I do like about it is it goes over here and tells me what am I missing? And so if I am missing these words, if I need to really do a better job of capturing them, then I can kind of break that down from there. So I'm missing availability, content, I could add content because we're talking about writing. Um, bullet, I think it's talking about bullet points, but, um, and then compensation as well as pools. These are not words I would use. So I would consider a pretty good fit. I really do like resume worded better. I think that, um, you know, looking at the targeted resumes, it's a little pricier if you do upgrade to pro. So. I think you would want to be kind of cautious in making that decision and seeing why would you want to go to pro. It could be as high as 49 a month or 19 a month if you choose to uh, pay by the year. And then if I were going to, they want to charge me like 149 a month, which is not what we're going to do. So um, on job scan, going back to that one, and just to kind of show you what it would cost to upgrade that one, I would never upgrade this. I just, for me, it's too granular. So I would stick with the free plan by a month. Um, you can, but yeah, it's $89 every three months. So about $30 a month. If you go monthly, it's $49.95 a month. Again, super expensive for somebody. If I were going to try to upgrade as a career coach, 
Um, it's even crazier, $199 a month or $4,000 annually. So that's a lot. And all right. So I just wanted to kind of give you guys the options, the rundown of what these tools are capable of and why you would use them. It is a great idea to tailor your resumes, but I don't want you so hung up on the words that it says it's missing that you spend hours tailoring your resume. If you write your resume in the way that I taught you with the core competencies and achievements at the top, that's really the only part you should have to tailor and it should take you 15 minutes or less to tailor your resume for each job description. So. I will be around to answer questions later today. I wish you the best of luck in the challenge. Bye.